Hello everybody. So I'm going to show you my super simple witch farm. It's based off of JL's design. I'll leave a link to his original design in my description. But uh, this is pretty much a starter witch farm. It doesn't take a lot of uh, resources to build. It's very simple. You can probably put it together if you have the resources in you know, a really short time. JL's design is awesome. He uses tripwires to trigger the uh, shifting of the the uh, piston floor. Uh, I found that was a bit overkill, so I simplified my design. All it's doing is shifting the floors uh, using the pistons. Here we have a hopper loop with one item traveling around in a circle. As it passes these hoppers, it triggers this comparator, which pushes the floor that way. On the other side, we've got the exact same thing. As an item travels to here, it triggers this comparator, which pushes the floor back. So right now I'm on peaceful, so nothing is happening. Uh, down below, if you've seen one of my other videos, you'll know that there's a mob farm underneath. Uh, JL just had a big area underneath, but I figured while I was building this, uh, <coughs> I've got a big hole in the ground, so let's make a mob farm out of it also. Uh, you have to have the hole, I think it's 30 to 35 blocks deep. I went all the way to bedrock, but uh, you know, you just have to have enough space underneath so that when the witches drop, they die. And you collect with uh, uh, hoppers. So here we'll back up. This is my uh, item elevator over here. You've seen it in another video, I'm sure. But we'll switch over to difficulty hard. Go back to the game and let the fun begin. So you see the witches start spawning in. The floor shifts fairly slowly, uh, or the, the cycle is very slow. It's about five ticks, um, so it gives the witches plenty of time to spawn in when they do spawn in. The cover here uh, is just to create a zero light level in the farm itself. Uh, JL's uh, video will show you how to make that. I think it's 19 uh, blocks from the center of the witch hut that you start out with. But as, you, as you can see, it's fairly efficient. A lot of witches spawn in here. It's not super, super, super efficient. Uh, as you can see, some of the witches don't drop because they've spawned in on a kind of half and half block, or half on one, half on another. This does uh, spawn in other creatures as well, but they despawn in time, so it's not a big deal. So that's about it. It's fairly simple. Uh, we've got a 7x2 hopper setup, so that creates about a 7 tick delay between uh, when the floor shifts. And everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. As you can see, it's very, very simple. I use glass to cover all these things. Um, you can use half slabs. You just don't want mobs spawning on the setup. You do have to cover the redstone with a half slab or glass. Uh, otherwise, mobs will spawn on that redstone. So. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped out. Leave a like and uh, leave any comments or questions that you have. Alright, talk to you soon. Bye.